Despite naming a new CEO today, there are still big questions about how Yahoo plans to make a comeback. Our senior West Coast correspondent John Erlopin caught up with a few former Yahoo executives to get their take on the turnaround. For years, the Yahoo billboard was a San Francisco staple, but in November, it was announced it would be coming down. Since it went up a decade ago, a new generation of companies like Facebook have been born, while Yahoo has struggled to stay relevant. Over the last three years, is there, was, there was some tarnishing of really one of the great brands of the internet. Jeff Ralston spent nine years at Yahoo, his last two as chief product officer. We really felt like we were doing important work that mattered. Founders Jerry Yang and David Philo started Yahoo as a directory business, a way for people to make sense of the web and it quickly became home to many of the Internet's pioneers. It would not be unusual to sit down in a meeting and have someone say, oh, that's the guy that invented PHP, which is a prominent you know, programming language in, on the Internet. And I'll be like, they'll be like, yeah, yeah, stop. But even in its heyday, there were questions about what Yahoo's business was ultimately about. In 2006, Brad Garlinghouse, a Yahoo executive at the time, wrote the Peanut Butter Manifesto, comparing Yahoo's strategy to spreading peanut butter across too many areas. He said, we lack a focused, cohesive vision. We have lost our passion to win. Toby Koppel was chief strategy officer at the time. He says Yahoo's size made it tough to compete with younger, more focused companies like Facebook. To try to continue to innovate at that scale was very, very challenging. When Steve Jobs was invited to speak at Yahoo in 2007, he reminded management Apple only reinvented itself when it was nearly dead. If you remember at the time when Jobs came back as CEO, they cut education, they cut tons of software groups, they cut the printer group, they cut the Newton group, they just were cutting, 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 and everyone was like, this group's amazing, this group's great, how could you possibly cut that? And he was like, we were just under so much pressure to survive, it was no choice but to cut, cut, cut. But Yahoo's situation is different. It remains profitable, and that profitability means less pressure to innovate in areas that will attract talent. That's what Silicon Valley is all about. That's what all that engineers want to do. They want to work on exciting problems. They want to be able to go at it and take risk and try things. And for Yahoo, that challenge is to take its homepage and related sites and create the same excitement that surrounds Facebook or Twitter or Zynga games. The way Apple came back is they created great products. Yahoo has to do the same thing. Simple, piece of cake, right? <laughs>